words are what people come to hear. But with his tattooed arms and slick back mohawk, Carl Lentz looks little like a pastor. One time somebody said, y'all are crazy in your church. I was like, have you ever seen you dance drunk? His unconventional style of preaching matches the venue, a nightclub turned into a place of worship. Lord, I pray that you would do what only you can do in this club that is a church with a disco ball. I've gotten used to, you know, seeing bar stools and club stuff in the place that we have church, you know, sweeping off cocaine off of counters and um, clearing out the show that was there before and throwing out people's drugs and that's church to me now. A band plays as a line outside snakes around the block as it does every Sunday for 5,500 New Yorkers. One of the fastest growing churches in the country, Hillsong, New York a branch of the popular Australian megachurch Hillsong. The dynamic pastor, the reason for why all six services from morning until night are standing room only. We need more people like Carl um, and our pastors. How they, uh, It's unconventional, but we're not in a conventional city. This is not the Bible Belt. This is New York. Lentz knows how to create buzz around his church, a hip culture that not only appeals to the young, but also celebrities, from Justin Bieber to Kevin Durant. He's a regular fixture at New York Knicks games. Right now, their type of style, why it really gets people, is they're a hot cool. Religion expert Tony Karn says Hillsong entered the New York market at an opportune time and with the right attitude. Yet Karn says the trendy concert church culture where the message can get watered down is risky in the long run. Can a, a rock group sustain itself beyond, you know, when its fan base ages? Lentz welcomes the challenge. He says every day is a journey for himself and his family. And he plans to keep doing things his way. He has faith things will work out. In New York, Bonnie Ghosh, Associated Press.